in spirit, nutrition, your brother, your friend, your dietitian, back again for another installment. How to heal from binge eating and bulimia. Let's get it popping. Again, I want to open up, and I, as a dietitian, I can give you some tips on dealing with bulimia and binge eating. But more so than me being a dietitian, I actually went through binge eating and bulimia myself. So I'm gonna get vulnerable with you guys. I'm gonna get real with you guys. And those are the best videos. Am I right or am I right? Yes, I dealt with binge eating. I dealt with bulimia. The secret is, is that binge eating and bulimia, they're not really dealing with food really what it's really dealing with is the emotional and the mental aspects of the human body of the human mind of the human persona of the person so what it really comes from is a source of trauma in your life um some people were told they were fat over and over or if they eat too much they'll become fat they were traumatized when they were younger some people um were traumatized by a sibling uh, who always talked down upon them and treated them a certain way because of food. Some people um, were molested as children and uh, food was their only kind of source of, of, of go-to, their source of happiness in the household. They were abused, sexually abused, psychologically abused, and then they were given sweets or foods that um, consoled them. And so for me, I connected my mother's passion um, with diet, with nutrition, with food, and with the lack thereof, with her eating foods that she shouldn't have ate for all those years. And what happened was there was a psychological rift in my mind where I associated the negativity, I associated those negative foods with my mother's passing and it was extreme my mother had uh, breast cancer it, mes it uh, metastasized to her brain to her lungs um, she very much deteriorated in a short period um, and I witnessed it all and I wasn't even an adult yet I wasn't even as fully psychologically developed um, and so it was very very jarring and very very scarring to me it's a trauma uh, like I'm saying so a lot of times people go through traumas and they misconnect things with food. So what you have to do is go back in a timeline, go back in your story, go back in your storyline and find out where was that disconnect? Was it when I was five, when I was sexually abused and you know later on I was placated with, with food? Was it when I was seven? Was it when I was 10? Was it when I was 16, 17 for myself? When was that? You go back and you trace your steps and then you say, when did I have a when did I start having a negative, incorrect, unhealthy relationship with food? Then you'll find your source, you'll find the root, and then you can uproot it. But if you just focus on, you know, uh, the outer things, <laughs> there's like wasp, big wasp behind here. Um, and so I'm making sure I'm not getting any stung. But um, if you focus on the outer aspects of things, then you um you won't really get to the cause and you won't really uproot it um and what i used to do was i would eat i would basically look for like a purity diet so um i went from you know eating the standard american diet to slowly progressing eating healthier eating less junk food to pescatarian vegetarian vegan i even went as far as fruitarian uh juice fasting raw foods um, I went to the extremes, um, all because I had this disconnect in my mind. I had this trauma attached to food and eating, and I never healed from it. So, like I say, in order to heal from it, you have to trace it back. What would I do? I would eat foods that, basically, I would swing uh, across the pendulum. Um, a pendulum is something, kind of looks like an anchor, um, where it kind of, it's like a U-shape. And the truth is, is that, there's always polarity in life. There's left, right, up, down. There's always going to be a form of polarity. But the masterminds, the great ones, the, the human beings who transcend, who grow and be better, 
they try and stick in the middle. They don't get too high, they don't get too low. Or if they do go high, it does, it's not too extreme. And they, if they do go low, it's not too extreme because the higher you go, the, the lower you have to come back, right? Um, and so what I would do was I would go to the extreme of going on fruit fast, only being fruitarian for a while, and then I would swing back on the extreme and I would eat hot Cheetos or I would eat um, Doritos or I would eat Twix or I would eat, you know, I'm not talking about binge, I'm talking about eating a lot of them. And then later on, I would throw up, I would throw the foods up because they were impure. But the issue wasn't in the food. Remember, I want to give a jewel is that the issue, the problem is not in the food. So it's not about keeping the food away from you. The issue is in your mind. The issue is in your emotional body and your emotional self. I can prove it to you because two people can stand next to cakes, cookies, chips, burritos, Cheetos, soda, whatever you're binging on, and one person won't respond. Without that trauma, without that, those issues, they won't respond to the food the same way that you may respond to it. Me as my healing self, I, I don't respond to food the same way as I did before because I, I cleared up what was emotionally attached to it. Um, so remember that it's not about the food, it's about healing yourself. It's not about hiding food or bringing food in or doing whatever with the food. It's about healing yourself. So, um, yeah, just focus on um, really finding out what the root cause is and, and realizing that um, you can't swing from extremes from purity to to the extreme of just binging why because it's not going to create balance if you're trying to lose weight or maintain a certain weight you have to find out what caused the trauma to make me feel like there's something wrong with me what caused i have to ask myself what caused the trauma to mess up my relationship with food why can't i eat this in moderation there's the moderation is in the middle it's not swinging from the pendulum if you want to maintain a good weight you have to eat a certain amount Consistently, you have to do something in moderation consistently. You can't just be doing the extremes all the time on extreme diets. You'll never maintain a, a proper figure. You'll never maintain a, a balanced health and a, and a balanced life and a balanced mind. It has to be balanced. So to think that you, you can go from extreme fasting or extreme diets and that'll help you lose weight or maintain your figure, something is not going on. Something is not clicking. Something is not correct. So remember, you want to stay into the middle. That's your psychology. It has to be balanced. You have to find out what's causing your imbalance and, and dive deep. So I had to realize that my mother's passing had to do with a lot of different factors. It didn't just have to do with her eating certain foods. Um, it was connected to you know unhealthy lifestyle, unhealthy foods, but also had to do with cigarettes, exposure, alcohol, extreme, 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 extremely stressful environments. Um, depression, different things, genetics, pollution, a lot of things, uh, a, a sedentary lifestyle, um, you know, abuse, past traumas her, that she owned, that she experienced, um, a lot of things, you know, played a part in that. So I healed myself, I realized, I freed myself, I liberated myself, I realized, wait a minute, it's not about that, the food, I can, I can have a balanced relationship with food and I can still maintain my health, because what I was basically the root of cause of it was I was afraid of and I was hiding from the cancer that consumed my mother that I saw it destroyed my mother's physical body so I wanted to get as far away from that as possible I wanted to be as healthy as possible and what I saw but it was unbalanced because there's no pure there's no pure healthy as possible diet it's about balance you need legumes you need whole grains you need fruits you need vegetables you need protein sources quinoa you see what I'm saying? You need, uh, you know, whole whole grains. You need flaxseed. You need spelt. You need amaran. You need uh, kale. You need all kind of stuff. It's not just fruit or just beans or just this. That's too extreme. But what it was was I was afraid of the cancer. I was running from that trauma. I wanted to be as far away from that as possible, but it was too strenuous. It was too imbalanced. A sister hit me up. A sister hit me up on YouTube. Way to heal is not to feel ashamed. Don't feel ashamed. Be okay 
and realize and accept yourself. Accept yourself as a wounded, hurt um, person. Because if you don't accept yourself, you're not going to be able to heal. Even if you're wounded and you're damaged, if you don't accept yourself, you begin to hate yourself. You, you, you begin to be ashamed of yourself. But if you accept yourself and say, hey, I have a problem. Hey, this isn't right. And she already did that because she reached out. She admitted what, what her issue was and she began to express it. So she's already making that step. But if anybody's watching this, accept that you have an issue, accept that you have a problem and love yourself enough to say, how can I trace my steps back to pull up the root and solve that issue? You can do it. Another thing about healing from binge eating and bulimia is taking little steps, step by step by step, become more balanced. So instead of me eating only salads or me eating only fruitarian diet or me doing something extreme, I eased up and realized, hey, it's okay, I can put my feet in the water. It's all right for me to heal my relationship with food. I can eat um, that muffin, you know, in moderation. It's all right. I can eat that piece of chicken if that's what you eat. I didn't. I don't eat that. I'm vegetarian. Um, but you know, if you have a, a broken relationship with food, you have to heal it. And it's poco a poco, paso a paso, step by step, little by little. Um, and that's my So it's like you just have to go in and say, okay, I'll eat this. I'll eat this much and be okay. It's not gonna harm me. That trauma harm me, but this is not gonna harm me. You see what I'm saying? So, um, your brother, your friend, your dietitian. I hope that helped. It's something that I honestly went through. A lot of my friends don't even know that. My people that I love, women that I've been in relationships with and love, they didn't know that. I'm putting this up to the world. Um, only people that know that I used to binge eat are my family members. Cause they're the closest ones to me. And, you know, passing, the thing is, is human life, human nature, hu the human drama is cold-blooded. We experience and go across some, some traumas that can change the game for us. And we just act like everything is all okay. But no, you have to dive deep and figure out what traumas you experience and how to heal from them. Um, seeing my mother pass away, pass her form, it changed my whole perspective on life. It made me grow up quickly, and, but it also damaged me in a lot of ways. And I never got psychological uh, treatment or healing from it the best healing is self-healing but um your brother your friend your dietitian i hope this helped um peace and blessings um, in spirit nutrition message me if you have any questions because it can open up doors for, for everyone for both of us uh leave comments if you will um your brother your friend your dietitian back again for another installment in spirit nutrition peace